Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Meghan Markle and Harry's unhelpful mistakes will not tarnish their unique brand. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have faced a huge amount of criticism in recent months, notably with the way they handled details surrounding the birth of their firstborn son, Archie Harrison. The Duchess of Sussex also sparked fury last month after reports emerged suggesting one of her security team asked attendees at Wimbledon not to take photographs of her. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams admitted the instances were unhelpful, but added they would not tarnish Meghan and Prince Harry's unique brand. He said, I think there is no doubt there have been a series of instances, the handling of aspects of the way Archie's birth was reported and certain things we were not told. The christening and a lot of hush about that, and also the fact, instances, we might not, have, might not even have known about, of people being asked not to take photographs in the direction of Meghan at Wimbledon, this sort of thing has been unhelpful. But, he added, in the long run, it isn't likely to tarnish what is already a unique brand. They have, added, they have named their charity Sussex Royal, obviously to be anonymous with the Instagram account, which I think has got 9 million followers now. Mr. Fitzwilliams added that despite the mistakes, the royal couple have the vast majority for support from the Brit press and British public. He said, I think it is important they appreciate that the vast majority of the press, I admit a few columnists and vile trolling online, but also the vast majority of the British public wish them well, and certainly when it comes to the causes they intend to inspire. They are tremendously important today and for young people must most particularly and those with contemporary outlook. The fact they also want to f female empowerment, diversity and so forth, that they are championing things that are very significant and also mental health, which is very, very important. What is essential to get your charitable message across is to have populations that are receptive to it. Clearly the press and press in intrusion, this is part of the parcel of the Royal Goldfish Bowl. There are some aspects of handling, for example, Archie being a private citizen. That aspect of things, when he is seventh in line to the throne, when it is possible, possible certainly under the current rules. Although they may well change, that he would become His Royal Highness when Prince Charles ascends to the throne and given the global interest in them. It is a very difficult line to read. There is no doubt there have been some mistakes here. Meghan and Prince Harry came under scrutiny from the media after their decision to keep the details surrounding the birth of their son Archie private from the press. Some royal fans also left frustrated after Archie Harrison's christening was kept behind closed doors. Not only was the service kept away from the public eye within the inner sanctum of Windsor Castle, but the identities of Archie's godparents were kept a secret too. A statement from Buckingham Palace about Archie's christening read, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor will be christened in a small private ceremony by the Archbishop of Canterbury in the private chapel at Windsor Castle on Saturday, July the 6th. That is all for today's episode. If you like, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. And I'll see you in the next one.